Hi, this is a short video while I am on vacation. Um, so I want to talk about this uh, lithium polymer batteries, these battery packs, and uh, why they have like three contacts there. So uh, many of the uh, cell phone or camera batteries um, do have three contacts and they are labeled like uh, plus minus and um, the center contact isn't labeled at all but sometimes you can see there is a T so what does this T contact mean um, I can just uh, start doing some, some practice here we can just um, use our voltmeter and or we can also, yeah, we, we use this voltmeter and measure um, the voltage of the battery bet between plus and minus. And it shows uh, 4 volts 14. Okay, I will just place it so you can see this. Um, 4 volts 14. Um, this is quite more than labeled here. It's uh, labeled 3.7 volt. This is a one cell battery and you can see if the voltage is um, higher than, than this, this average voltage which is, uh, this, this, which is labeled here, then the battery uh, is full. So. Um, the, the the maximum of this one cell batteries the maximum is about uh, 4.2 volts and um, yeah okay so we have plus and minus we have measured this but uh, what is this center contact we can also measure the voltage between center and minus can we no we can't okay but uh, maybe plus and the center contact. Oh, it's also uh, 4 volts 14. Hmm. But what's the difference between them? So the difference is T means temperature. Uh, These uh, batteries, they can um, get, uh, they can become very dangerous if they are getting too hot, they can explode. So every charger, if you are yeah, designing a charger or uh, want to charge them by yourself using maybe your bench power supply, you have to always to measure the voltage. But uh, how, how is this realized? So in this case, we have be between uh, ground and um, ground and this T pin, we have um, yeah, something like a resistor, which is uh, which reacts to the temperature. So we can measure it, uh, now for this. Um, yeah, for this uh, common, uh, I don't know, 22 uh, degrees Celsius uh, in here. We can measure the resistance. I will set my uh, meter to uh, ohms, 20k. So I see an. Uh, K range um, and I will just measure doesn't matter which way around we'll measure it here it's 9k it's around 9k so uh, how does it change when I heat this battery up so I will I will try to heat this battery up while while holding the contacts here so I will still measure this measure this okay you can see it and then i will put my hand on this okay and now you can see the resistant the resistance uh, drops now we are about 8.8k uh, 8. and You can assume it will be around uh, 
yeah, 8.5 for uh, 32 degrees or what, what is my hand uh, warm, I don't know on the outside. So um, yeah, when I just put my hand away and then uh, I leave it for uh, cooling down, then the resistance rises slowly again. So let me draw this. So we have this battery here, like this. We have minus, this is our minus pin. This is our T pin. Okay, let's say T. And this is plus. And we have something like this resistor here, which is connected to, to minus and this is uh, uh, some, somehow, um, yeah, we have plus here. Um, yeah, and this is our voltage source. So, and this resistor uh, varies with uh, the temperature. Uh, we can emulate this battery and say, okay, um, we want to make an adapter which uh, just simulates this battery and we can uh, put this adapter in our device like a mobile phone or camera and uh, how do we simulate uh, this um, temperature pin so since we are uh, we are controlling this uh, inputs here uh, minus and plus uh, we don't need any temperature control inside so we can just uh, put the plus to the pin and then we can just put a fixed resistance to the to the T pin. So we have something like this, and uh, it depends. You have to measure your battery. Um, this average, uh, yeah, temperature will be um, for this battery is about 10k. So I will just put here 10k. So I will put uh, a 10k resistor here and we have um, yeah, our simulation complete. And the circuit of um, the device uh, will we'll see, okay, um, uh, it will see, okay, this uh, battery isn't overheating. So the resistance is high, en high enough and um, it's not overheating, so we can uh, take more power, more power, more power, more power. Okay, so this is um, how we can emulate this, uh, this uh, battery. And um, we could also uh, make measure this temperature if we want to use this battery. So we want this other side here. And um, how we can... Um, yeah, control this uh, this the circuit uh, and measure this um, resistance here. So there is a simple way. You can say, okay, I can't uh, measure the resistance directly, by, I, but I can measure it indirectly. So I will just put another resistor here, like maybe also 10K, 10K or even higher. The higher the better um, and I will connect this to plus here this to T T plus and we have minus here let's say minus is here this is plus okay so what do we have now we have you can see okay we just which over here what we have now is when we put this battery in we have the plus minus and we have here is, um, is where the battery starts and we have here this um, um, varying resistor and we have here one fixed resistor so this is something 
you can you can see if you if you know how um, a bit about electronics uh, you you can see okay let's say this is 10k so this is 10k and uh, we can say oh okay um, this is somehow a voltage uh, divider so we can just take here connect a, a line so this is no no connection here I can draw it like this um, connect a line and just get it to ADC ADC analog uh, digital converter uh, of our micro uh, microcontroller and measure the voltage there so um, yeah if the battery is get, getting hotter and hotter we get um, a lower voltage uh, there and if the battery gets cooler and cooler we get a higher voltage since um, this is something like on PCA, and this is our uh, like slider and we say when we have 10k here and 10k here we have somewhere between 0 and let's say this is 4 to our 3.7 so maybe you have to put a regulator between the 3 .3, but um, this is something for now and uh, you say okay uh, we have this is connected to um, this uh, resistor is connected to ground so this is our wiring resistor with temperature and this is our fixed resistor so this ratio uh, of them um, is uh, showing what you get so if this gets 5k and this gets 3k 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 and one third of your voltage, and here you will get two thirds of your voltage. So, and you can say, okay, this will be 5k, and this is still 10k, and this is 6, you will get something like um, your 1.13 volts out on your ADC. Oh, <laughs> you haven't seen anything. Okay, I will. This is how the voltage divider works. Um, we have something like this slide here. Here's the uh, 3.7 and the 0, 0 volts and uh, we are moving between 0 and 3.7 by this voltage divider since this is fixed this 10k and we have varying around maybe 10 we can say this ratio uh, of these two resistors um, gives the output uh, voltage so you have here um, half of 3 3.7 is 1.85 volts so and if you have um, if this battery is getting hotter and your resi resistance drops here um, and it is like 5k and this is still 10k then you have one third to two thirds uh, ratio so your voltage gets around 1.13 volts so this is uh, it this is um, how you could measure it with the uh, ADC if you don't know how ADC works there are some videos maybe I will explain it in another video uh, but this is a yeah, common common function on, on at least one pin of the microcontrollers you can get thanks for watching and uh, see you soon